What is going on guys, it is Miniature King, thank you for signing on the channel, hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. So today guys, I am starting a brand new series on my channel. There's no specific name yet, but this is where I go in depth with all the maps in Infinite Warfare, and I'll be doing this series for the next Call of Duty in 2017, but for now it's just going to be Infinite Warfare, but I wanted to start off with DLC 1 since that just came out. So how this is going to work is I'm going to tell you what I think about the map, how does it play in certain situations, different kind of gameplay, and what I don't like about the map, and at the end I'll give it a letter grade. A plus being the best and F being the worst. Hopefully I don't have to give any Fs out on this series, but we'll have to see. But to kick it off, we're going to start with Renaissance from Sabotage DLC. So guys, without further ado, make sure to drop a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe and let's just get right into this video. So Renaissance. Guys, I have to say this is my favorite map in the entire Sabotage DLC. This DLC came out today and this map plays out perfectly for what it is. So guys, Infinity Ward has said this multiple times, their multiplayer is a very fast paced game. There's really no dull moments and you're always constantly in some form of action. And of course, I always love the boots of the ground gameplay, that will always be my favorite kind of gameplay, but I have grown to love this fast paced movement system. And for me, Renaissance does this perfectly. Renaissance is a very small close quarters map, there's a lot of SMGs going on, you don't really want to use ARs on this map, you're just going to see a lot of people using shotguns and SMGs for the most part. For me personally, I think Infinite Warfare shines when you're playing in a very chaotic map. For me when I say chaotic, I mean close quarters, but the spawns are obviously still balanced in some way shape or form, but you're still going to be in a very chaotic pace game. This map is like the nuke town of a Call of Duty. This is where you're going to get most of your high kill games is in this map. And obviously this is my opinion so I know a lot of you probably don't like the fast paced movement as much as I do but for me as a player who loves getting a lot of action this map is really really good. I played TDM, Kill Confirmed, Hardpoint, and Domination on this map and they all play really smooth. For me spawns were perfect on this map. You kind of have an idea of where enemies are and I think that is really good. You're not always constantly having to look for enemies. You always know where they are and you always are getting in action. The last thing I want to talk about is it looks beautiful. I've said this in a previous video but Infinity Ward has done a super good job with making these maps look so good. If you guys have ever just stopped playing during a match and just look up in the sky you can just see how much detail to actually put into these maps. This map definitely isn't my favorite map in Infinite Warfare but it's up there. So guys in conclusion I'm going to give this map a B plus. Guys, let me know what you guys think about Renaissance down in the comments. Make sure to drop a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe for daily Call of Duty content. As always, have yourself a fantastic day. Peace out, everyone.